Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is, yes, this is the grand announcement. Um, my shop is up and running. So my website, it's, website is now live. It is Diamonds or Forever Wax Co. Um, the link will be in the description box down below so you can check it out. I promised to keep you guys informed of what was going on as soon as I set up. I have just activated um, the site, you know, removed the password um, from the site today so that you can access it and immediately <laughs> go upstairs to film and show you guys. So this is my current inventory. Um, so obviously these are all made, these are curing and I'm going to go through everything with you um, of what I've got. But obviously everything is labelled and um, it all is described properly and has pictures on the site i am selling only to the uk i'm really sorry guys but the postage and import fees for things they're just they're too crazy and let's be brutally honest you can buy wax melts anywhere there is no point spending a fortune um although i very much appreciate it just to support me when you know there's lots of people that make them and uh, you can get them cheaper uh closer to home so i just i don't want to do it it feels like a rip off so um i'm just not when just not and that's that anyway we're moving on uh, so I just wanted to go through obviously um current inventory now <laughs> it's not a massive amount obviously one I'm not making these all the time I have a full-time job I have two coloring uh two hobby channels um I have other hobbies I make certain things for other things and I'm now doing this as well so stocks are limited there's a few of each um and on every couple of weeks I make um, a couple of batches more which is what you can see this lot is and I'll go through those in a moment um and apparently everybody I know in life is absolutely wax melt crazy so i'm actually uh, which is a good thing struggling to get enough to upload to the site because my stuff like sells really fast uh, in person so <laughs> i am working on uh, increasing uh, volume and you will see that from the stuff that's curing at the moment to my left so let's get into what you want to know which is what fragrances i currently have so when you go onto my website, um, there is a main page that kind of shows you what I've just uploaded and the wax melt collection. And if you click the second page, which is the catalog itself, it's just going to bring up, you know, the whole row of different wax melts that I make. And um, they've all got funky names. That kind of is my brand. I kind of wanted fun names to things. So I'm very sorry until you go into the item itself. It can be a little bit tricky to actually know what the scent is going to be. I know that can be annoying, hence the video that I will, um, you know, break down the scents so that you can then just go online to have a look. Um, I do a few variations. We've got the Scoopy boxes, um, the gift boxes. I just thought they would be a fun version, um, you know, for presents. We have, of course, the five piece um, bars. We have the bags and I'll show you the many different shapes. And I also have the clamshells. I know it's tricky. There's so much plastic, but it's just very avoid unavoidable and i've gone for you know uh, as much recycled and recyclable plastics as i can so <coughs> get that out of the way and i have lots of free samples i want to be able to uh, pop some freebies into people's order so i bought um cute little stickers i've got um coloring bookmarks and i've got um, little samples um, I also have some diamond painting bops and ends when you make your order if you are a subscriber of mine if you put your hobby in there <laughs> just as a little side note for delivery I will add um, you know a more your hobby related freebie if I have something in that category if that makes sense because I just want it to be something a little bit useful for whoever does it I am hoping to make some cover minders and maybe some diamond painting wax to also add to the channel channel I'm getting confused to the site because I think that would be 
quite fun. <coughs> and uh, we'll just see. We'll just see how much time I have in life. Um, so, curing for future. These will be ready in a couple of weeks. This is my Christmas um, inventory. I have here... Um, this is the dark forest, kind of a fruity fragrance. I've got apple cinnamon down there. Um, I've got gingerbread. They've got this kind of cute white frosting to them. I've got pine. This one is absolutely gorgeous. This is the scents, not the names, obviously. I'll come up with cute names later. Uh, this one is candy cane. It's like a really fun peppermint. And underneath there is just the clamshells that I've also made. They wouldn't all fit into the boxes. So as you can see, lots of stuff is curing, ready to fill back up my inventory. Um, I am thinking the more popular scents I will, I'll purchase again and restart if I can get hold of them. So I have Orange You Wonderful. Uh, this one is orange cinnamon and I've added a sprinkling of a yellow gold glitter to this pale orange base. We have puppy love. This is cherry. This one is pretty strong. It's very cherry. This is a really pale pink and I've just uh, sprinkled it in a pink glitter. All my wax are 100% soy and I've found a wax that is still pretty hard. It's holding its shape pretty well. It moulds pretty nicely so it's a nice shiny um, pretty looking wax and it's not too soft um, but it is soy so obviously if you're allergic to soy these are a bad idea um, and all my glitters are 100% plant based biodegradable so you're safe they're not going to spit in your wax melts uh, so that one was cherry we have happy happy birthday and this is birthday cake fragrance I've added this if you can see it this kind of fun pink frosting to the uh, plain white base there so it looks like it's uh, sprinkled in topping uh, from there we've got it's got to be mint choc chip i think you can guess the uh, scent of that and i've done like a green marble effect with uh, some cute green glitter on these quite a few of these they have mica in them so when you actually burn them they'll have a cute metallic -y, mica -y swirl to them from there I have um, You Maple Me Crazy. So I've swapped hand. You Maple Me Crazy. This is a maple walnut. Um, I did do this as my Halloween scent. And obviously I've still got a couple left. So I'm sure they work all year round. So <laughs> that's how I'm going to do it. Uh, it's a cute Halloween scent. And I do have some bags of cute little fun. If you can see them there. If my camera will... Uh, there we go little cute ghosties in there still got some of those bags left with the fun ghosts in um so yeah that is that one uh let me see now where am i oh yeah i have one bar of sweet tooth left one bar this is candy floss and marshmallow so a really subtle really pretty this is a lovely scent but very very subtle um just the one left of that for the moment I've got one bar left of movie night in this gorgeous kind of deeper top uh, with a glitter and this one is toffee popcorn. You will notice I do have CLP labels on all of my um, packets because that is a requirement in the UK and they all have uh, just wax melt safety instructions in them as well. Um, from there we've got tickled pink and this one is a marshmallow and raspberry so just a little bit more fruit to this one this one's pretty i did add like an orange um like it was supposed to look more like this but my first batch it came out a little bit patchy i'm not gonna lie so i'm sure it'll look better once you've melted it but it's mainly white with a little bit of orange mm, drops uh, this one, this is one of my favourites. We have Brain Freeze. And <laughs> this is a blue raspberry. Uh, this is again just a pale blue base with uh, a blue glitter. If you've noticed a theme here, all of my wax melts are quite a pastel tone. I just, I can't help it. I like the pastel colours. I don't like the really dark tones. So 
<coughs> unfortunately they all end up a bit that way uh, from there I have a walk on the dark side this is a black pomegranate this is kind of a bit, little bit more um, soapy detergenty uh, fruity <coughs> kind of thing they all set up my cough off at the moment I do have a bag of uh, the fun shapes left in this and this is uh, the star shapes for this bag. My bag seemed to go pretty quick. <coughs> oh my. Uh, let's see now, what else do we have? I've, I've promised to take these into work for some of the girls so they can uh, check some out and probably buy even more wax melts. I've got rhubarb and ginger fizz. I've got one bag of this. These are all little flower shapes. It's got a really cute, fun bag of the pina colada. This one smells absolutely gorgeous very very mellow this one it's quite subtle but it's all uh, little fans and handbags and shoes in there i've got one bag of that i definitely will be buying that back in um though my passion fruit martini sold out straight away so unfortunately i don't have any of those left for the site but i'm definitely going to repurchase that one it was gorgeous that's some of the orangey wonderful uh, which is the orange cinnamon in little hearts there and i do have one bag of puppy love left at the moment and this is little duckies that is the cherry uh, let's pop this guy back so as i say it's not it's not a vast amount because i'm one human and uh, only have so much time but you know i'm constantly restocking and uh, as i say you know there's there's a few of everything so the orange cinnamon i've got five bars one clamshell my puppy love i've got four bars a clamshell and a bag my birthday cake i've got six bars and two clamshells and a scoopy box um the mint i've got two four six bars and two of the cute little gift boxes the maple i've got two bars i think that's a tickle pink yeah i've got two bars and three bags i've got one movie night one sweet tooth um three four of the tickle pink but also one of the scoopy boxes in it and um, these scoopy boxes these are so cute um so they come with their little wooden scoop just attach them on a little string there so it releases when you take the lid off um and they just have little cute fun shapes in those again i think they make really nice gift items to be honest although i think a lot of people do just quite like the scoops um i've got like five four bars and a clamshell of the brain freeze four bars and a bag of the pomegranate um and then just a bag of the pina colada bag of the rhubarb um you know so enough <laughs> for the small handful that is going to purchase for me like i say you know not a million it's not gonna go viral there's not a million people are gonna purchase in the uk but hopefully um i've had quite a bit of interest so some of you guys will want to purchase i have unfortunately had to charge a little bit for delivery um just because well I'm not making a big markup on these. It seems like it because obviously they're not wonderfully cheap, but because I've used I've used nice wax, good packaging, quality ingredients, biodegradable ingredients, um and and sourced fragrances that are as nice as possible. Nothing has unfortunately been um super cheap, so you know, um I've gone more the quality really than um trying to cut costs if i'm being really honest because i am just you know making a handful of each item i'd rather they just be a nice item 
little bit of wax info these are soy wax melts soy needs to reach a higher temperature to release its scent load and um, so they do work better from everything i've tried in the electric burners i mean don't get me wrong i've got a few people they just have a little tea light burner and they work just fine but they will be stronger from an electric burner they do take over an hour to properly release you can't just pop it on for five minutes and think why can't i smell anything it takes a little bit of time they are more slow release at slightly higher temperature than say paraffin um, but from all the feedback i've had people are getting two three burn track you know burn time tries from each segment i think most people in the bars they put depending on the size of their burner and what they're like one to two pieces in or two to three of the shape pieces in it really depends on how strong you want it to be and the wax melt burner that you're using. Um, so obviously you'll have to have a little bit of a play. I'm sure if you already use wax melts then you're pretty sure and uh, pretty used to how you want them to work by now. But just in case you haven't used soy before, it's like anything. You need to have a little bit of an experiment and a play and... Uh, see how you like them so feedback guys what do you think do they look cute <laughs> i've uh i've worked really hard to try and make them look you know something that not only it would be nice to use but would make nice gift options i want people to be able to um grab one for themselves but obviously especially at this time of year be able to um you know grab it as gifts for friends and family and such these are um the box and then i've added a paper insert and then the little shapes are in there um the bars are 50 gram approximately i've gone over rather than under if needed the bags are 60 my clamshells are about 70 gram the t the scoopies um or 70 gram and the gift boxes are 65 so you definitely got enough in each set for you know either four or five um you know uh what's the word for that four or five <laughs> burns you know fill refills four or five refills for um your burner and obviously my clamshells i will just show you Let's see if we've got one that's not completely covered by all the important <coughs> uh labels it's a shame about all the labels you have to put on because they cover all the fun stuff but um you know all my clamshells they'll have the same glitters and things inside um and these are obviously little six piece chunks these are the slightly smaller sized clamshells um to what you can get um and i think i have i have squares and hearts in these i do believe um but yeah super super pleased with the um if you can see them through here can you see i got these gorgeous um molds christmas molds and they have christmas balls gingerbread men and women mittens snowmen and trees and they have the most beautiful um detail to them like even the little mittens have a little stippling and uh, they've just come out absolutely beautifully so i'll get about a bag out of that i think i might end up with enough uh, um, a bag from the pine as well maybe from the candy cane i'm not sure that might not be uh, enough weight there but we will see we will see so we are up and running site is live keep me in mind if you're after wax melt gifts for people <coughs> and like i say if you have um, a certain hobby so if you've come from my diamond painting channel, just pop on and in the description diamond paint. Uh, or if you've come from my colouring channel, pop on that you're a colourist and then I can add some uh, bits and pieces of freebies that um, you might really like. Also, 
if you buy a few cents you will get samples so if you buy some cents and there was one that you would have really liked to try if you pop the name in the description along with whatever your hobby is i will try and send the if i have some of that sample so if you were like really keen on trying the sweet tooth but you bought a few others just pop sweet tooth sample and i will add um if i have any of the samples that are available i will add that sample in as one of them for you no problem obviously if you get a different sample it just means that unfortunately I didn't have any left um, but I'll send you something if the one you wanted isn't in obviously so you can try one of the others have a little go a little smell um, see if there's something but if there's one that you like if you were going to get a sample if you wanted something specific and you want to pop it in the description you're absolutely welcome to and if I have it I will send it I think I've waffled enough for today guys <laughs> I am super excited super excited to be um you know up and running really i know this isn't a mass inventory but um you know i've done <laughs> i have been making the wax melts like crazy um and thankfully selling wax melts like crazy so like i say it's just um it's keeping the inventory up at this point that i'm actually having more struggle with than anything which is really really awesome and um, but i will do my best for you folks to uh make sure that you know i want there to be plenty of different scents because if someone's going to pay delivery they're going to want to buy three four cents not just one and um, so i want to have plenty of options so that when you're scrolling through there's going to be a few cents that you'd really like to try uh pricing because you guys will want to know um, because it will change, obviously, it, they're, they're on the website. Each um, item, if you go onto the site, if you go onto that description, it will show um, the main item and you click onto that and you go in and then on the right hand side there's like um, little options so it'll say shapes bag, bar, clamshell, a scoopies box or box of shapes which is what this is and when you click it it will have how many there are left and the price of that item so everything is super transparent you know exactly what you're doing also as a please 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 if you would be super kind i know you're already doing me a massive favor so it's totally um voluntary you don't have to but when you do receive your items if you love them if you could pop me a review <laughs> on my site because it's so new obviously um there's no reviews on there so uh for me to um kind of you know get out there a little bit and to look a little bit more trustworthy i really really need some five star reviews so if you love the item please do share that for everybody else on my website i've got the little uh i I added the review app onto my site specifically so that people could review. Apart from that, guys, on the third page of my website, there is a contact form. So if you have questions, if you want to know something, just um, you can send me a message on there. Or, of course, as always, you can email me from either of my channels or you can Instagram me on my Emma Colors 2020 Instagram. Absolutely no problem. Any questions are welcome. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.